Hello, in this video I'm going to solve for the equilibrium number of long-run firms in a competitive market. So we have each firm in a competitive market with the following cost structure. 16 is fixed cost, Q squared represents variable cost. The market demand, the overall market demand, is Q equals 408 minus P, the price. We want to solve for the long-run equilibrium number of firms. In perfect competition, the long-run price equals average cost at the minimum point of the average cost curve, uh, at the minimum point of the average cost curve. So first we get average cost, which is total cost, divided by Q. So I took the total cost equation, divided by Q. We have average cost. We want to find the minimum point on the average cost curve. So we're going to take the derivative of average cost to get its slope function, and we'll set that slope function equal to zero. So that's what I do down here. The derivative is a slope. Uh, following the rules of differentiation, uh, 16 divided by Q using the quotient rule is minus 16Q squared as its derivative. The derivative of Q is just 1, so that's the slope function. We want to set it equal to zero to find the minimum point. So in the next slide here, I rewrite the derivative, and now I'm going to just solve for Q. Uh, so just moving one thing over to the other side, uh, getting rid of the minus signs, multiplying through by Q squared, taking the square root of both sides. Each firm will produce four units of output. Four units of output occurs at the minimum point on the average cost curve. To get the long-run equilibrium price in long run, uh, firms make zero economic profit, so price equals average cost or average total cost. So we will plug this 4 into the average cost equation, okay? Not the derivative of the average cost equation, but we'll plug it into just the average cost equation. So writing the average cost equation and plugging 4 in for Q, the long-run equilibrium price is $8. The next step is to take that $8 and plug it into the market demand equation. So we see that the total market output will be 400. Consumers will buy 400 units at a price of $8. And then using our information, we can back into the total number of firms in long-run equilibrium. The total number of firms will be the total market output, 400, divided by the single firm's output, which we found on the last slide to be 4, so 400 divided by 4, there are 100 firms serving this market. In other words, there are 100 firms, each producing 4 units of output. That gets us the 400 units of output. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.